the fear is equal. It isn't that, you know, the doctor isn't scared. Everyone's scared. Doctor, Yaz, Graham, Ryan are all back in Sheffield catching up with their families and friends. They're about to go off travelling again when they are essentially kidnapped. End up in this car and driven by a, an agent, a special agent, to take us to MI6. Feels like back to normal because you're just in a weird situation with the gang again. My idea is that we just let the driver take us to where he wants us to go, because then we'll find out who wants us. What if he kills us along the way? Look at him, he's obviously doing this at someone else's orders. Don't you want to know who that is? All of a sudden, the MI6 agent gets killed whilst we're driving along at speed. Your equipment's not up to much. Shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> and then this entity, whatever it is, takes over the car. We are at the hands of an invisible force that is reversing down a motorway. Someone's controlling this car and it isn't me! So tonight we're filming all of the exterior stuff with the stunt cars, um, and then at a later date we'll pick up all the stuff inside the car um, in a studio with our cast. It's uh, probably one of the biggest stunt sequences that the show's ever undertaken. When any car sequence, I always like to use my toy cars. So I use my, my two boys, I, I, get, I go to their cupboard and I get their toy cars out. Then he's gonna go between Lloyd and Joel. All right. It's just a visual aid that everyone can see exactly what you're doing. So I lay them out on the road, on the ground, as it's gonna be on the day, and then everyone knows what they're doing. Where the camera's gonna be makes life a lot easier and it helps me enormously for all the rehearsals. It is a big number. Um, we've had to close off the road. I've got 11 stunt drivers, I've got a hero car, and that's driving at speed. It needs to weave in and out of the traffic. It comes to a very, very sharp step and then it, the car gets possessed and then it starts to reverse at high speed through all the oncoming traffic through the tunnel. Reversing into oncoming cars sounds straightforward enough, but when you add um, darkness, headlights, possibly rain, it's, it's quite a tricky one. We all know that we're going to get out of the way of each other when we have to, and we know that we can leave it to the last minute before we swerve out of the way, and, you know, it's, it has to be a mutual trust. For the inside shot, to sort of try and get that on the move, we had the car then in studio and we used rear projection. So it's um, a stationary car and then we've got projections on the side of the action that they filmed with us not being there. The screens go on action and you have to say lines at the right time to match the, the appropriate background. Ah, the brakes not working! So we have to choreograph our moves and dialogue. We are told accelerate, reverse, brake. Speeding up. <laughs> and reverse into speed, you've got to lunge forward. And then you we brake reverse, you've got to lunge back. So we had all those guys shouting that as we were doing the scene. So it's quite complicated to do. So when we were reversing backwards, I was, I think I was going like that, and Brad's like, mm. If we're reversing and we're that way, we're definitely going to be like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, OK, cool. You do whatever you're doing now, I'll follow you. Come there, come there. The action stuff just seems a bit more full on. There's a lot more action. The stakes are high because it's potential imminent death, particularly at the end of the scene where we're reversing to the edge of a precipice. And we, you know, we don't know what it is, but we can see there's, n there's nothing beyond those barriers. The car's going backwards, there's no one driving, so it's a bit scary. I don't know, I think anybody would be in that situation would be a bit scared of that. Oh, look behind us, the road's out, we're going over the edge! I feel like Yaz thinks she's invincible just because she's got the doctor. So, like, as much as I'm scared because I've just seen something or I'm reversing back at 100 miles an hour, I always think, I'm not going to die. Oh. oh, my God! What just happened? That's what I love about playing the Doctor, is the need for the Doctor's speed of thought and ability to think 
in a high energy and chaotic environment. Don't get away to stop it! It's the use of the, the rear view mirror and, and it's there in front of you the whole time. You know, it's turning the alien's power back on itself. Go, go, go. Right at the beginning of the new series, you want to just sort of see, yeah, this doctor's capable, this doctor's proactive, this, you know, when the chips are down and she's up against it, she always finds a, a solution or improvises, and that's a classic example of her managing to improvise in the moment. I was in the front, so I had more opportunity to save the day. But I'm sure if Graham had been in the front or Ryan or Yaz, they would have done exactly the same. <laughs>